the fifth of our O Antiphon series as we consider this Old Testament name for our Savior, our day spring um, from on high. Before the devotion begins, just a reminder, um, I think in one place I uh, forgot to mention that there will be um, Monday night church tonight, 6.45 p.m., and then all the Christmas services beginning on the 23rd uh, at 6.30 p.m. coming up here in a few days. So um, we'll begin um, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. A reading from Isaiah chapter 9. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light, and those living in the land of the shadow of death a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The Word of the Lord. I think of a child on the top of the basement stairs. It's dark down there. And I don't care how many words of assurance are given. What it takes almost every time is a parent to accompany them into the darkness. To turn the light, to say, see, it's okay. We grow older and we become more aware of darkness, not the basement anymore, but the darkness that permeates this fallen world, the darkness of sins committed and love lost. And what you need is for someone to accompany you. December 21st is the shortest day in the Northern Hemisphere. And into this short day of light, into this world of darkness, a light has come. Jesus Christ, the day spring from on high, breaks into this world of darkness, dispels the gloomy clouds of night, chases away the dark shadows of death. There is a reason that lights are all over our houses this time of year. There is a reason that the church is lit up. The added light teaches us that the light of the world has come, the light no darkness can overcome. Into the darkness of the world, into the darkness of our hearts, shines the light of life, shines Jesus. His light accompanies you this very day. Come, O day spring, from on high. We pray. O day spring, splendor of light everlasting, come and enlighten those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Amen. O oh, come thou day spring from on high And cause thy light on us to rise Disperse the gloomy clouds of night In this dark shadow Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come. Take away the burden of our sins and make us ready for the celebration of your birth, that we may receive you in joy and serve you always. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be and abide with us all. Amen.